Hey there, Christina here from ProfitableDaycare.com. Excited to have you on board. I help those that are aspiring childcare business owners go after their dreams to open and operate their very own childcare businesses. And I'm excited to have you here today with me. So today I wanted to talk about something that I think is pretty um, popular nowadays. Um, it wasn't the case when I first ventured off and opened my own business, my own child care center back in 2004. But today, at least in the last few years, I think that a lot of people are using the service and a lot of people are actually offering the service as well. And it's a little bit everywhere. Um, I'm talking about coaching. Um, it's something that you may have heard, you know, online, you know, health and fitness coaching, weight loss coaching, parental coaches, um, life coaching, business coaching, uh, profitability coaching. I mean, there's, there's a coaching service for basically anything out there. And today I wanted to focus this video a little bit on coaching. And if you need a business coach to start and operate your very own childcare business, because it is something that I have been getting asked a lot lately. So I thought I would make a video and share my thoughts on the subject and then just kind of uh, give you the pros and the cons and then let you know how you can find your own business coach. So before I begin, my voice is a little hoarse because I am, I am um, catching a bug. My kids were sick, so I probably caught something, <laughs> which is why I sound like this. But so, <coughs> excuse me, but I still wanted to get this video out there to you guys. So coaching, what exactly does that mean? Well, a coach is somebody that is there to guide you through a process, right? So whether that's losing weight or whether that's parenting your kids or whether that's, um, you know, getting over a, a divorce or just something that happens in our day-to-day -day lives, right? A coach is someone that has already been through what you're going through um, and has come out on top, has finished, has found like, um, has gotten results for themselves and knows how they can help you go through whatever it is this thing you're going through to get to the other end. Um, and the way they do that is by coaching you, by guiding you, by giving you roadmaps, by supporting you, encouraging you. Um, they are someone that you can count on to maybe uh, bounce ideas off of. And I think that coaches are amazing. I think that having a coach um, especially if you are struggling with something in your life right now, is so important. It will lessen that learning curve. You will feel supported. You won't feel overwhelmed and you won't feel alone. And the best part, you won't feel like what you're trying to do is impossible because here's the proof that someone already went through what it is you're going through and came out on top, came out at the end and had amazing results. So if they can do it, you can do it, right? So I wanted to share three points um, when it comes to coaching and more specifically a business coach in terms of, you know, a childcare business. And if you really need one um, and what they can do for you if you decide to work with a business coach. So number one, it saves you time. So if you are someone that wants to open their own childcare business, but, you know, you're thinking that, uh, you know, maybe you're still in school and you think you might work in the field for 10 years before you venture off then I don't suggest you get a business coach. If you are someone that is working in a childcare center and that is, um, you know, absolutely dreading going into work every single day, maybe you hate your job, you hate your boss, you hate the people you work with, uh, maybe you're not feeling aligned with the center you're at and you really crave freedom, right? You want to be um, in charge of, you know, your center, you want to create the program, the policies, and you're ready, like you're ready to dive in to do whatever it takes to start your business like now, like in, in the next few months, then yes, I would strongly suggest you find a qualified business coach to help you do so because they will teach you basically everything that you need to know to start your business, right? They will help you along the way. They will give you a roadmap so you'll know exactly what you need to do in order to get the results, in order to get there. And they don't teach you that in school, right? I went, I went in early childhood education. I went to college. And when I was in my classes, uh, yes, I, I, I had training on how to, you know, program activities and, you know, health and uh, 
hygiene and all that stuff that they teach us in school. But I finished school like a long time ago. So if I would go back right now and just call my teacher and say, hey, Mrs. Uh, Smith, you know, it's Christina from uh, 2001. Uh, you know, I'm venturing off into opening my own childcare business. Can you help me? Can you guide me in the right direction? She's probably going to say no, right? So it's not something that we're taught in school, but having someone that's already gone through the process, that has their uh, business up and running, and that they know exactly what needs to be done, yes, you are going to um, move ahead of the line and you're going to be able to get to work ASAP because you know exactly what you need to do. So that's the first thing. Second thing is they're going to teach you all the mistakes that they made and that you uh, in, in return won't do the same mistakes, right? You, you'll know exactly what to do and what not to do. So you'll have someone next to you telling you, you know, be careful of this or be mindful of that or you don't want to do this because I did that and this and this happened. So you know exactly what, um, where to pivot and where to focus your energy so you're not basically spinning your wheels doing something that doesn't make sense or doesn't serve your business or just won't get you further, right? It won't get you ahead in your business. So that's the other way this saves you time. Having someone that has gone through the process, that has seen results, and that is basically just done all the work already and they know exactly how to guide you through the process saves you so much time. So if you are someone that is ready to, to commit into starting their own childcare business, it saves a lot of time. So yes, I would suggest you go and find yourself a qualified business coach that you connect with, that you can relate to. Second thing, pushes your limits. So if you are working in a daycare right now um, and you are an employee, right? You're just showing up to work. You have a job description. You do exactly what your boss tells you. Um, and then you just, you know, clock out and you go home. You're not really pushing your limits. You're not really, um, you know, stepping out of that, you know, comfortable comfort, comfort zone. You're not stepping out of the box, right? You're just basically doing what you've you're been told to do so you can get your paycheck and you could go home. Um, and there's no room to scale personally, I think, especially as an employee, if you are dreaming of being a business owner one day, right? You could work on skills as an educator. You could work on so many things. But if your dream is to open a childcare business and you are working as an employee somewhere, <laughs> excuse me, it's very difficult to push the boundaries and to test your limits and to see what you're capable of. So when you do commit to uh, entrepreneurship and to opening your own business, even though you're working maybe, let's say, during the day somewhere because you need to work to pay the bills and you're working on your dream in the afternoon, having someone next to you like a business coach that could push your limits, that could encourage you to step out of your comfort zone, that is going to encourage you to uh, level up and become a better version of yourself, a better leader, right? A better employer, a better childcare business owner can make a world of difference. Having someone that believes in you, having someone that knows uh, the areas that you may uh, find your know, roadblocks and they're ready really just to push you forward is everything. So that's another great pro of working with a childcare business owner uh, that's also a business coach because they know they know what it takes not only what kind of skills you need or you know the logistics of things but they know in here that you need to have a strong mindset positivity is everything working on your skills working on your leadership skills and just focusing on becoming a better version of yourself right so you're going to learn new habits new skills you're going to have a new routine um, and if you don't have supportive people around you it's kind of hard to push your limits when people don't expect anything of you right so working with someone that is specialized in this is amazing third thing i want to talk about accountability and support now if you don't have people around you that are supporting your dream if you are feeling um, overwhelmed or kind of stressed out because you know you have a dream of venturing off and opening a childcare business and you feel like people around you don't believe in your dream maybe they don't understand why you want to do it maybe they're trying to talk you out of it maybe um you know they're 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 telling you what could go wrong instead of what can go right um we all have those naysayers in our lives right and it's hard it's hard to stay focused and to stay committed when everyone around you especially those that you love the most are telling you otherwise so having someone that is a neutral party Someone that is there really um, as someone you can count on to bounce ideas off of. Someone <coughs> that knows how um, difficult it is to get to your goals. 
if you don't have support, right? They can be your accountability partner. So that's another thing the coaches offer is accountability. So whether you are in group coaching, which is basically a couple of business owners together with one coach and you guys work together, or whether you venture off into one-on-one -on -one coaching, you know that you have to report to someone. You know that you are working towards something and that at the end of a month or a couple of months, you know that these are the results that you wanna have and you know that you have to go and um, hold yourself accountable, right? You need, you need to go and you need to explain to your coach, like, this is what I worked on. This is what I came up with. Maybe you had some situations come up in your business with staff, or maybe you felt, um, you know, some uh, limiting beliefs creep up. Uh, so it's an amazing thing to have next to you, to have someone like a coach that can hold you accountable, that's there to support you and to guide you and redirect you in the right direction when you're kind of like all over the place, right? So accountability is awesome. And let's face it, in today's world, um, it's very difficult to, you know, start something and finish it, right? Um, we, we are faced with so much all the time, social media, uh, everything is always busy and crowded and you feel like... Um, if you don't do this thing, uh, then you're going to be missing out. So you start one thing and then, oh, guess what? You find something else. So then you just go over there and you you forget about this thing. And it's really important to start and finish what you started. So working with someone like a business coach is going to show you how to do that. And they're going to hold you accountable and support you along the way. So let <coughs> me get a sip of water. Now, a few questions or a few beliefs that I have encountered from my students when I am teaching in my online community. Um, a few things keep coming up. The first thing is, can I still open a childcare business even if I don't have a business coach? And obviously the answer is yes, right? Of course you can do that. Um, you don't need to hire a business coach to open a business, right? But I want you to think about one thing. That if you are feeling overwhelmed and stressed out and really just trying to get the answers from wherever you can get them. If you are in, let's say, for example, in a bunch of Facebook groups with other childcare business owners and you post a question like, I don't know, how do I open a daycare? Okay, <laughs> And I've seen this happen. Then you're going to get everyone and their mama just commenting underneath. You know, this is what you do. That's what you do. This is what you do. You this how much money you need. Oh, don't do it. or do it. <clears throat> it kind of gets overwhelming. It gets scary too, right? You, you kind of get scared when you have like, like a post with like 50 comments underneath and everyone's telling you to do something different. It's kind of hard. Um, what you, what's going to end up happening is this, that you are going to start feeling overwhelmed. You're going to start feeling stressed out. Maybe you'll feel like you can't do this or it's too much work or you don't know what to do first. Um, and then you're going to start doing things out of desperation, like copying and pasting different, you know, mission statements or whatever you find online, try to make it your own. Um, and then you're going to have basically a business that doesn't really align with you or your values or your belief system. And that's no way to start a business. Whereas if you're working with a coach, um, instead of starting from other people's vision and then just kind of making something of your own, you start from the beginning with your own vision and your own values and your own beliefs and then you go and you grow from there so i think that's amazing and you're never working out of desperation you always feel aligned you feel like you're working um within a flow and it just feels good it feels good to you right um whereas if you're not working with a coach again you're just all over the place you're trying to find you know answers from all over the place and i know for a fact this is what happens because this is what happened to me when i first started my business in 2004 again it was a long time ago and business coaches or life coaches weren't really a thing. Um, I went into this thinking, I'm just going to make it I make it work, right? So I had some kind of um, ideas of how I thought a business should, you know, start running. And then I would just ask anybody that I thought would answer the question. And I would just take ideas from here and there and try to figure things out. And when things didn't work out, I was I felt overwhelmed. I felt very anxious. I couldn't understand why. Um, this idea worked for this center, but it didn't work for mine, right? So um, a lot of mistakes were made, a lot of time was wasted, a lot of money was wasted, and I don't want that to happen to you. Um, another thing that my students tell me is, um, it's too expensive to hire a coach. I don't have the money, I just opened up my business, or I need every penny, I need to save everything because I want to open a big center and I need a lot of money to put down, or, you know, it's a money issue. Um, <laughs> and to that I say that, first of all, you can shop around, you could look around for a business coach that you feel comfortable with. 
Um, there are packages and there are different ways you can work with the coach for starters. Secondly, think about it this way. If you are basically hiring out of desperation, or if you are registering kids out of desperation, you're not really clear where your center's headed, you don't have a good team culture, um, things feel off, parents are not very satisfied, you're gonna lose money. You're gonna lose money. You're gonna lose money if kids start leaving your center and then you're scattering around trying to register. You're gonna lose money if you hire the wrong staff and then there's other issues that come with staff like uh, one of them could sue you for something or they could just quit on you and then you're struggling trying to find a replacement ASAP. A lot of things could go wrong. So when you are uh, thinking that this is gonna cost too much money, Think about it in the way where if I don't do this for my business, what is it going to cost me if all these mistakes happen and all these events happen after I open my business and I'm operating, right? So uh, it's going to cost you money in the end. So I would rather invest in something that I know is going to support me and, um, you know, give me a roadmap on where where uh, to focus my attention on and the kind of things and the systems that have worked in their business instead of trying to um, you know, learn things from all over the place and registering the wrong kids and thinking that you have to hire anybody that walks in for an interview only to find out that it wasn't a good fit. And then at the end, you lost them anyways. And then you have to redo the process and rehire again and lose money like that. And it's just it's a big mess. So um, I want you to think about that next time you say, I don't have the money. Because as professionals, I really believe that the best investment you can make is investing in yourself. And that's investing in your skills, investing in what you can offer your business, investing in you as a leader, right? Investing time and energy, making you strong and healthy and just someone amazing to be around. So if you start thinking of it as I don't have the money and I just don't care, then you have to put up with whatever's going to come your way after that, um, knowing that, you know, you hired because you were desperate or knowing that you registered kids just because you needed the money. Um, that's not going to serve you in the long run. And lastly, one of the other uh, limiting beliefs that I hear a lot is, okay, do I have to hire someone and just have them on board forever? Um, is it someone that I need to have with me like until I die? You know, like, are we stuck? Are, are we stuck to the hip? And the answer is no, of course not. So when you find um, a business coach that you want to work with and you connect with and you have a good rapport with, then I am sure that as many business coaches offer, there's different packages, right? So it depends on you. Every case is unique. If you are someone that is just starting off and you're feeling lost and overwhelmed and you don't know what to do and everyone's telling you, you know, different things, then maybe having a coach to help you with startup until you're operating and you're, you know, you feel comfortable is a good thing. And then you decide if you are, you feel okay and safe and confident that, yeah, you could do this, go for it. If you feel like, you know, you might need them on call here and there, then you can do that. If you feel like maybe you just need to meet with them once or twice a year just to discuss how your six months or your 12 months went, amazing, right? Um, if you are someone that prefers group coaching, maybe you can find someone that takes a few clients in at the same time. <coughs> Again, another possibility. If you are someone that is already started and you're operating and you're thriving and you feel amazing, but you come against a roadblock. Maybe you're going through something as a leader. Maybe you find that your team culture has declined and you don't know why. Maybe you feel that you as a business owner, you feel a shift and you don't know how to fix it or something is not aligning well. Um, maybe you're in a position in your business where you're scaling and you're ready to grow and open another center and you need help and ideas on marketing or just um, help and how you can set this up so that you're not you know, working 50 plus hours a week then a business coach would be an amazing uh, thing to have next to you in that uh, that part of your business venture, right? So it's different. It, it, it depends. It depends on your journey. It depends where you're at. But in any case, it is really helpful to work with someone that has got, done the work, has gotten the results, and can guide you through the process. You know, when I first started my business journey, um, I was 24. My business partner was 22. And we did not have any skills in terms of, you know, leadership or accounting or um, policies or just anything, right? We were just basically workers, employees that we just wanted to work for ourselves badly. And we had the will to do this. And we did. Um, but we made a lot of mistakes. We made a lot of mistakes. And every time we would reach out and ask someone to help 
um, you know, with the laws or to clarify something that we had to follow to get our, um, our license. It was horrible. It was really, really annoying because this was someone that did not run a center. They were working for the city. Um, they were always rushed uh, with time. They didn't give us clear answers when we asked them, well, how do we do this or how do we do that? They did not give us the answer. It was basically you fend for yourself. You know, you wanted to open your business. You did fend for yourself. I'm just here just to tell you the law. And after that, you're, it's all on you, right? Um, I wish that 15 years ago, I knew about business coaches and life coaches and mindset coaches, because yeah, I would have invested my money and my energy in working with someone, especially at startup, especially at startup, because a lot of mistakes were made and it took us longer to get things right with policies and team culture and our mission and all that. Um, it took us years. It took us years, right? So working with someone that has gone through it, that's going to lessen that learning curve. You, you don't need to spend five years perfecting your team handbook when someone can show you how to do it the first month, right? That makes sense. So uh, <coughs> I wish I had this service when I was venturing off. So you might be asking yourself, how do I find a business coach or a business mentor? How do I do that? First suggestion is Google. Google Google has the, your answer for everything, right? So Google, if you want to work with someone locally, you could Google local business coaches or childcare business coaches. Um, if you don't mind working with someone um, over the internet, like maybe on a Zoom call or over the phone, um, again, you could just Google that as well. Um, uh, you can even ask maybe your associations or maybe other childcare business owners Maybe you are following someone on social media or maybe you are um, friends or you know of a center that has been operating for years and there's only good things to say about the center and you like what they do, you like what they stand for, you, you like the staff, you like the business owner, you, everyone's happy in the center and things are flowing and there's registrations and you know the marketing is great and maybe just reach out to that business owner and ask them, would you be willing to coach me, right? I mean, they might say yes, or they might say no, but it does not hurt to ask. Um, Google uh, Google has your answers for everything for sure. Um, again, it really depends on you and where you're at in your business and what you feel comfortable with. If you want someone to coach you um, online, you can do that. If you feel more comfortable uh, meeting with someone face-to-face -face over coffee and just discussing every six months, again, search in your local community and ask ask people because i i trust me when i tell you i strongly believe that if you are um in the process of opening your center and you are struggling with things or you don't know exactly what to do or what to say or what to write someone else out there is is is, a, is um facing the same problem as you you are not alone right every childcare business owner especially those that have never run a, a business before go through this i went through this it's a part it's a part of the process right but that doesn't mean that you just stop there and you give up on your dream that just means you need to get creative you need to use your resources around you um, we are living in such an exciting time where everything is in our fingertips there's no excuses anymore to say that i don't know how to do this or i was stuck feeling like that because there's resources all over the place and the point of hiring a business coach is they could help you get there faster and easier so why the hell not <laughs> so that's it so that was my training for today um if you enjoyed it or if you have a comment or if you have a question comment below i will check those out thank you for watching so if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and do it um and if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter hop on over to my website www.profitabledaycare.com and sign up for my newsletter i send out weekly content with videos and freebies and all that fun stuff and I wanted to invite you to a free webinar that I am hosting in a couple of days. It's going to be really fun. We're going to have a live Q&A at the end. I'm really going to walk you through what you need to open and operate a childcare business. Um, I'm going to give you three insider tips. Uh, and then you'll get a chance to uh, do, we'll do a live Q&A at the end. So if that interests you, if you're someone that is right in the beginning phases of um, opening their own center, maybe you're still in the dream phase or maybe you started you know, uh, your research, getting educated on the laws, but you're not quite sure what else is necessary, um, I'd love for you to join. So again, www.profitabledaycare.com forward slash webinar and sign up for that. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.